Welcome to the class. Thank you for signing up and joining, and I'm very excited about teaching it. So let's dive right in. So the very, very first thing we want to do is open up our terminal or command line. And the way to do that is just to come up to the search, search for it, and you can put in command line or terminal. Terminal is for Mac, command line is for Windows. So you can go ahead with the corresponding one, and it shows up kind of like this. It's also in your utilities in case you need to look there. So once you have opened it up, it's going to look something like this. And the very first thing we want to do is we want to check to see if we have Git. So to do that, you just put GIT and then enter. If this happens when you put GIT enter, that means that you have Git. And you could skip the next step. If you do not have Git, what you need to do is come and get it. And the best way to get Git is to go to git-sem.com downloads. And then just download it for your computer, install it, and then make sure that you have it on your machine, the best way to do it is just to come back to the command line, push and get, and then this should happen. So once you've done that, the next thing we want to do is we want to sign up for GitHub. GitHub is a repository. It has a lot of millions of coders, developers are on here. We're all sharing information, going back and forth, collaborating on projects. It makes it very easy to work with other people by using GitHub. So you can come in here, pick a username, email, create an account. It's free and it's awesome. Totally recommend it and it, we're gonna be using GitHub extensively through this course. So once we have this, the next thing we need is we need somewhere for the app to be. We need essentially a server, we need a hosting for the app. And when you have an app, you cannot use hosting like HostGator or something like that. You need to have special hosting for apps. And Heroku, I think is one of the best. They also give you a free account, so it's great for developers and coders that are just creating things and they wanna use it. I totally recommend it. Just come on, sign up Heroku.com or Heroku.com, and all you have to do is just come and follow this very simple process and then create your free account. And then once you've done this, the last thing we need is a work environment. We need an IDE. So one of my favorites is uh, Visual Studios. Um, very easy. It's also free. It's provided by Microsoft. You just come in here, you download it, you install it, and then once you've done it, open it up. When you open it up, you should see something like, like this. This is what Microsoft Visual Studios looks like. It's very simple. It's almost like a word pad. You can come here and you can type. It's kind of got the idea. So we're going to be creating files in here. We're going to be saving them. We're going to be committing them to GitHub. And we're also going to be sending them to Heroku so the app could run. So once you've done this, the very last thing I need you to do is log in to your Heroku through the command line. So you're going to copy this dollar sign Heroku login, you're going to paste it in here, and you're going to press enter. Now, I'm already logged in, so I don't need to do this, but you need to do this, and you need to make sure that you can log in through here. So once you've done this, we're going to be able to do things in the future like, uh, you know, initiate a new directory, uh, add files, commit them, and then push them to Heroku Master. We're going to be using this extensively. So once you've done this, great job. You're ready to move on to the next lesson. Yeah.